of bucks is rising back to get you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you. And for my growing extended family, oh gosh, I'm so blessed for y'all to be in my life. Knowing that there's people that are connecting with me in so many different ways. They're going through the crazy chaos that I'm going through. It really gives me comfort that I'm not alone. <laughs> It really does. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you are, uh, you know, you're, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And even, you know, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift. And I know I just totally skipped the other one. Like if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Now I got that out of the way. Now if you feel like the videos would be very informative to you and give you some good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share them while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share in your social media favorites, whatever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my meditation music I got in the background is so peaceful. I've been, been coming up on some good meditations, y'all. I hope these, you know, when you're getting a message, it gives you some kind of comfort in the background as well. And it's uh, called Prayer Music, Talk to the Universe, Manifest Anything, Gratitude and Law of Attraction, 741 hertz. Um, and I will post that link in the description box below. And my video is Twin Flame 101. Hey, okay. Please stay patient while you are leveling up. That is so true. You know, it's like, I know I've been on this situation, but it's just like when they send this to me, like, you know, they always tell me, like I ask them, you know, I ask universe, can you give me some content that you want me to talk about? What messages do I need to receive as well as, you know, my love bugs as well. And they always send me to like different, you know, connections I have like on Facebook or you know, uh, like Namaste or Enlightened Impasse or, you know, uh, what was the other one? I forgot what the other one is, like Twin Flame something. And it'll be a lot of posts that really, you know, draws their self to me. Like it could be something I'm dealing with throughout the week. And, you know, I get confirmation like, okay, these things are echoing out to me. And it's just like, you know, we can get impatient, especially if, you know, it is one thing we shouldn't do all the time is day. You can focus on whatever you're trying to bring into your life but don't stay daydreaming about it a lot because sometimes with that process going on and you're still dealing with stuff and not actually healing every, you know you're not hitting everything that you need to get towards getting there but you know you're heading towards that way it can give you you know it can give you anxiety like you really feel like and i told people please don't want to get that mac that that microwave dream because the microwave dreams they come quick but then they end quick as well you have to be patient and see while you're on that verge, you're getting, you know, the signs each and every day. Like, you know, if you watch your numbers or, you know, like I said, when we're on like certain social media sites, it's like some people that, you know, put things out and you're like, dang, you know, I was just thinking about this earlier. And that's letting you know that things are in that, you know, in the making, you know, and it's just like, we always have to constantly tell ourselves, you know, if we don't get it today, that gives you a time to be able to heal whatever you need to heal from grow from whatever has been placed upon you learning you know whatever your weak points were you know we all got Achilles and something whether if it's insecurities trust faith patience love all these different things is allowing you to be able to create the things that you're trying to create for yourself but being able to grow from that too because those are you know, it's just like you're you're in school. You work hard. You study for all these tests that's coming along. And then when the test comes, you know, either you ace it or you fail it. But it's just like what in life is like, even though you fail at that point, that gives you enough time to grow from the things that you messed up on. You know, it's you know, it's kind of like when you go to school, even though I can't really stay in school. But, hey, you know, I always feel like education is important just because, it, you know, it annoyed me. I always crack down on my kids because I never wanted my kids to go following behind my, you know, my background, the things that I did. You always want to be better for your children. But it's just like, I get to that point. <laughs> you know why I get impatient? And I'll be ready to have it right now. 
like my mama say, not right now, but right now, you know, yesterday. But it's just like, you know, you want this now, but are you completely healed and let go of everything? You know, I don't let go of the situation of, you know, I've been placed in, but there's a lot of things that I'm still, you know, dealing with. It's just like with my kids, um, all, it was like my kids over the weekend were talking about, because my daughter, my oldest daughter never really got a chance to tell me anything because it was like so much going on that day. Because she was like, Mama, I'm so proud of you. Because <laughs> anybody who know me from the offices, I'll be quick to tell your ass off and do not care. Especially if I don't like you. I'm like, I just don't like you. <laughs> you know, but it's like with my situation and my daughter's graduation, I had to tell her, you know, this was her day. I allowed them to come. She was like, you allowed them to come. Because, you know, I told them the only reason why you got there is because I told her to tell you. You know, she wasn't going to do that because she knew my situation with them. She didn't want me to go, you know, raise the hell up. I'm like, no, that's selfish of me. You know, this is my, my daughter's important day. Why do I need to be acting ghetto fabulous? And you don't need to be acting ghetto fabulous any day I go where. Because I want to be damned. Number one, I'm a sore loser. <laughs> you ain't gonna never think, you ain't never gonna catch me slipping like that where you feel like you got up under my skin. I used to do that, you know, but now this is a whole new day and age, you know, and I had to be able to, you know, allow that, you know, and I knew it was gonna come to that point where I'm gonna have to see them. I thought it was the only time I was gonna see them during some legal matters. But no, I had to come to that conclusion that, you know, this wasn't just my daughter's graduation day. This was my graduation day as, as well. You know, as soon as I said that, my whole daggone computer just lit up. <laughs> so it was like dealing with that situation. I was so, so proud of myself. My, my, my daughter was like the same thing. Because she was just like, you know, you weren't really saying nothing to him at the graduation. I said no, because I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on here. And plus, I'm just trying to make sure I'm good. When I do talk to them, I don't want any kind of animosity. I don't want any kind of like, I'm about to cut you. You know, I'm about to bust your head wide open. I don't want none of those type of mixed feelings in my body. And when I finally did, they don't know Rosalind style awakening person. So I'm already smelling the fear off of you anyway, because you don't know what's going to come what's going to come out of my mouth you didn't know if i was going to embarrass you if i was going to let everybody you know out in the crowd know the truth you know because they always worried about how they've been perceived they don't care about how anybody you don't make anybody else look bad but they want to make sure that nobody sees them for who they truly are you know narcissistic so you know narcissistic people are like that but just to let them know hey you know i'm doing good you know this and this and that or whatever i was being that bigger person even though i was just like when they touched me i'm like please don't touch me i don't need that type of energy on me don't touch me you know but it was just like when i was awakened and now it's just the point i've been touched with my gifts i hear everything that's going on in your mind and it's like you're nail biting because you did not know what was going to come out my mouth and it, it was just a beautiful thing to me because my daughter was like, Mom, I'm so proud of you because I know how you feel about them. I just, I said, baby, that was just my closure. That was being my last time I was going to see them on purpose like that. The next time it's going to be on an accident when I accidentally bump into you. It ain't going to be me going out my way to talk to you because I done said what I had to say. You, you already know you can't argue with a narcissistic person, you know. So my whole situation has taught me so much you know because it's like i'm actually glad that i didn't get my blessings yet because it allowed me to be able to let people know you had to take your power back from certain people especially if you know that they made a big impact in your life and not in a good way it's going to be that point where god and universe is going to place some folks back in your life you can say all day oh i forgive them oh you know if i see them i'm gonna be nice i'm gonna be kind it's not like the fact that you're kissing butt but you're allowing your your peace you, you cannot let allow people to disrupt your peace. So it was like so many different times. You know, I'm leveling up on myself because it's like, do y'all realize? I say I have to be able to commend you for putting me through this so much hell because it taught me self-love, self-respect, taking my power back, having faith in myself that I can conquer any and everything that's been thrown in my way, having patience to be able to wait on my blessing because I know God is making something good for me that I didn't even imagine. You know, just for all the things that I'm doing. And that allowed me to be able to have that patience because it's like anybody who knows a Taurus, especially a Leo, you having all these things combined in your life Leo, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Cancer. I'm basically got the whole goddamn on Astro plane with 
me. You know, astrology, astrology, whatever that stuff is. That's not no good. That, that's like an atomic bomb waiting to go off. <laughs> you know, I don't have that type of day. I don't have it. It was just a blessing. Because when I finally got through that, and then on top of that, universe uh, tested me again by allowing him to call me. And I still kept the same attitude and just like, oh, no, just because, you know, I was being cordial with you didn't mean I was trying to, you know, rekindle a relationship. Dude, I don't need you in my life. No. <laughs> no, I'm good. I just got that so I never got and kept on going. You know the truth and I know the truth. And I remember everything that you did. And I still ain't about to call you out on it because it's like you, you, truth is going, whatever you done in the dark is going to come to light. You can't keep exposing people for what they did to you. Because it's like lately, I noticed that a lot of people, like, you know, I, I watch a lot of crime shows or a lot of things that go on in the world. And it just seems like the people that done the most dirt to folks, sooner or later it's going to come leaking out. It's going to, when it does, it's just the fact is when you didn't keep it real, and you kept on trying to feel like, oh, well, I've got along with it for this long. I'm going to go ahead and do some more dirt. There's some more dirt. That's why God ended up pulling out that, you know, reeling out that noose for you. So he's like, okay, I'm going to just keep on feeding it to you. So when I haul off and jerk that mess back, you can't say that you didn't see it coming because they give you so many chances, just like they give us so many chances to do the right thing. And a lot of times people are placed in certain situations just like, I mean, it really goes deeper than that. Because I remember I used to get upset about how come my mom was not no longer here. And my mom already said, you know, there's many days that I sit back and I said, now nah, I see why my mom tried to bust that dude head open. <laughs> you know, I just look at things from a different way. And it was just like my mama said, I'd be damned if I go to jail for you. I'd be damned if I do out over my dead body. And my mom really meant that. <laughs> my mom really meant that now it's just like when i came to this situation now i'm putting two and two together i was gonna make sure even if my mom god rest her soul and i missed that woman to death in that physical plane but if she was to be here i would have i would have went hell and hot water to make sure my mom never went to jail for any of those things that that man did to me but it was like when you can be able to learn and see things from a different picture, it might be kind of comical. It's good to laugh at stuff other than cry. Because if I do cry, it's going to be tears of joy because I never thought that day will ever come where I can actually look at these people face to face without wanting to lay hands on somebody or popping a cap in somebody. But it's just like when I see you, I said, damn, you more scared of me than I am of you. That's the most scariest situation I never thought them tables were going to turn. And my mama always said, you know, you whatever you do in the dark was going to turn into light. But the only thing that's so funny about them tables, they finally turn and the tables turn. So it's just like going through my whole situation alert me, allowed me, alert me, allowed me to be patient and to know, you know, everything happens for a reason. When you're placed in a certain situation, like I told y'all before, it's not a it's not always about you changing that situation. It's about allowing that, that situation to change you. But change you for the positive. Being able to see yourself. Because it's like a lot of people that's been placed back in my life that I talk to. I'm starting to see the bigger picture of certain situations. And I'm just like, wow. You know, people that I know that did some dirt to me. But now I'm starting to see it for what it is. And I'm okay about it. Because it's teaching me a lot. You know, sometimes it's like when people, misery loves company. Sometimes you got to keep things to yourself. You know, when a lot of people, when they're going through stuff, they want to be able to see you going through things too, to allow them to know that they're not, you know, they're not, you know, somebody else is doing about as bad as them. But I'm that type of person is even if I'm doing bad, I want to see you have that come up. I want to be able to see you get that award that you truly been working hard for. Because when I congratulate you, it's like me collect, congratulate me. And I never want to sit up here and hate on somebody's blessing because I never know how far, what sacrifices, what they had to do, how many times they had to make that run Ray trip, run, run Ray, run Ray. You know, because that was like a repetitive thing to go back to hell and back. You know, you never know what people had to go through to get what they got. It's like, there's, I'm a YouTuber. You know how many YouTubers I see that gonna made it to 50 mil in subscribers or 10 mil, 10K. I'm congratulate you because, number one, we're doing, some, you know, a lot of people that I'm subscribed to, you know, that are doing it big, big like that or either animations, reaction videos, uh, gossip stuff. 
and I congratulate them. And you know, there's some people that's going on with me. And I, even if you're under me, I still congratulate you because I know how hard it is for you to get that come up and you deserve it just about as much as I do. And you know, even if you've been doing it shorter than me and got it, I'm gonna still congratulate you because I never knew what you had to do to get that. You know, it's just like everybody's blessing is, you know, different than everybody's blessing. Everybody's journey is different than everybody's journey. But allow yourself to level up on all those different levels. Allow your situation to teach you everything is meant to teach you because that's the only way you're going to be able to get to that next level of greatness those next level of black uh, blessings there are so many people i've seen that i thought i was the only one saying these things like i'm tired of seeing you know i'm happy for the people that are getting their stuff you know i'm congratulating them but when am i getting mine you know you have to be patient you have to see all these coming up because it's like when they're allowing you to see this and you're actually being happy for those people it, you know they're like you know what they're learning. They're seeing other people and they're congratulating them. They're not being a source of sport. They're not being jealous. You know, because I used to be that way. I ain't even going to lie. You know, I used to be that way. But then I had to learn, you know, it's not the fact that they're trying to dangle stuff in your face and say, nah, 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 I gave them something and I didn't give it to you. No, it's like things speak to you. Things are echoed to you and giving you signs and signals. Like you see them coming up. Don't think that you ain't coming up. You coming. But have that patience and know, have faith in yourself to know the universe is about to bless you with something that you ain't even think you about to imagine. You probably pray, probably pray for something. And it's just the fact that so much hell that you done gone through and so much things have learned you on so many levels, so many different directions, you know, on so many different angles that you are blessed that you went through these uh, setbacks. You were blessed to go through these mistakes, these, you know, the failures and stuff like that, because I'm grateful for mine because it's taught me a lot, you know, not to sit up here and blab out all your business because, you know, you can be happy for yourself, but you don't know the next person what their intentions are towards you. You know, so I, it's just like when I see stuff, I'm like, I don't know what's coming in my life because I honestly don't. But I'm just going to keep pushing on what I'm pushing on because I know that, uh, you know, things are meant to happen. Those lessons are meant to learn. You're you're educating yourself and you're getting knowledge from different things because we learn new things every day. And that's what you're supposed to do. So it's just like when you're allowing yourself to be able to be focused on your blessing but not allowing yourself to get impatient about waiting for that blessing. That's what really matters to the universe because that's when they know when you're practicing patience, you're practicing faith within yourself as well as the situation that you're in and you trust that the universe got your back, source, creator, God. All these different things are coming at you, but you have to be able to love. You have to be able to let go. You have to be able to see things for what they truly are, not letting things affect you. And it's, it's hard to do that at times, but you have to be able to stay focused because it's like, you know, when I notice different things will come up in my mind. Because, you know, ego will play suit on that too. Because it's just like they're so used to having control of you. And when you actually let go of that situation and not letting ego do what it needs to do in your life and as soon as I said that my phone lit up like crazy <laughs> when you allow ego not to control your situation and let, allow you letting your faith control your situation and knowing this situation is obviously teaching you something that you didn't know yet so allow yourself to be able to take heed to whatever it's trying to tell you and learn what you need to learn so i hope you were able to resonate off of that you know much love to you as well princess laura uh convey the truth and sarah warsham much love to you as well and um like and subscribe give me a thumbs up you know share the video uh you know send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and thumbs up hit the bell subscribe and share <laughs> you know if i didn't say it already i'm gonna say it again so um Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody that's going to pray for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.